Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be looking at the best gun in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Some of the things we'll be looking at is bullet capacity, number of different animal classes it can shoot, and the different penetration on each gun. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're here at the shooting range. Now we're going to test each gun's accuracy at 150 meters, zeroed at 150 meters. First off, we have the 7 mil. Pretty bad shot by me, but it's going exactly where I'm aiming it, as you can see. Now I'm going to do one last shot. And you can see that shot also went pretty much where I aimed it. Heck, we'll just do one more. Just to really try to get a bullseye. And there we go. Nice bullseye. Went where I aimed it. Really good. Next gun we have is the 243. I really like this gun, partially because it's free. It's the first gun that everyone gets. And it's pretty good overall. However, you can see there, the accuracy isn't quite the best. Even though my shots aren't good, it's not exactly going where I'm aiming it. And it's always off just a little bit. Once again, this is at 150 meters. We're zeroed in at 150 meters. See, my shots aren't quite going where I'm aiming them. Next up in the final gun, we have the Zarza 308. One of my personal favorite guns. And let's just see how good its accuracy is. Once again, 150 meters. My shots aren't the best, but able to get top of the bullseye there. You see, it didn't go exactly where I aimed it, but still pretty good perfect bullseye right there so i'm pretty happy with that for the next challenge we are on quattro Kalinas, and we will be doing a little practical gun test it's about 4 30 in the morning perfect time for wild boars so with each gun we have we will be shooting a wild boar at 150 meters let's see how this goes we are 150 meters out of this nice wild boar over here and we are getting ready to shoot it, just zeroing in, holding my breath, and good shot. That looks like that's going to go down, and going down, going down. I was making my way up this way, and I spotted another group of wild boar that we can shoot. So now we're going to shoot him with a 308 at 150 meters once I go get this other boar. Now here we are with this nice boar. He has really cool fur pattern looking at him he looks gnarly nice gold at 99.90 let's look at that penetration pretty good just into the left lung i'm happy with that and that's a really good shot that's good and look i even leveled up okay we're about 150 meters out of this pack of wild boar i'm gonna go for the one laying down right over there just make sure we're getting a good shot, staying still, holding my breath, and that was a good shot. She is dropping pretty fast. Forgot to say this is with the 7mm. Yeah, that was a good shot. Let's go check it out. Okay, we just got to this nice wild boar. Really cool fur color, like I mentioned on the other one. Let's look at it. And wow, that's a really cool shot. Went right into the liver, intestines, and stomach. Would have liked to get a lung, but that is okay. Still vitals. Really nice. Now let's go get one with the Zarza 308. Okay, let's go check out this wild boar. Pretty nice. Definitely vitals. Checking it out. And we got double lung. That's, that's pretty cool that she was able to drop so fast with the Zarza 308 and a double long. I definitely want to do that in the future because it looks really cool. Okay, next up, we're going to test on a b bit of a bigger animal, a black bear, actually. So let's go do that. Okay, now we're on Silver Ridge Peaks and we got a black bear charging us. We're shooting with the 7mm. So hope we get vital. Nice shot there. That looked like vitals, probably just right by the shoulder. She's going down. And, oh, going to attack us. Nope, she's fleeing. And looks like she's down. Great shot. Okay, checking out this bear. Nice silver black bear. And right by that shoulder, got the lung. Now let's look at the penetration on this thing, because that's one of the aspects we're looking for in these guns. Hard to see, but it definitely did get some good penetration going through that shoulder 
into the lung, so I'm pretty happy with that. The 7mm makes a nice good shot on a black bear. Now let's go with the Zarza 308 and the 243. Okay, so we actually moved to another lake and we got a nice alert black bear standing up. This is with the 243. I'm not going to try a heart shot, just try for maybe a lung. A little bit too far, but I still think I got a lung. Let's hope so. Let's go check for vital blood. And would you look at that? We ran into another nice black bear. Just tried to get that little shot away. Hopefully that hit vitals. I think it did. It was pretty, pretty spot on. So we're going to go check that out after we see if there's vital blood here. And just checking now, we do in fact have vital blood. So that means that lung shot did, did get in. So we're going to go get that bear plus the one we shot with the 308. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the bear I believe we shot with 308. Nice double lung spine. That's actually pretty cool. Almost the same as we got on the boar, in fact. Yeah, and that brought it down pretty quick. Nice bronze black bear. Happy with that? Let's go check out the other one. Okay, and our final bear shot with the 243. You can see it nicely got into that lung. Actually, I'm kind of surprised it got that much penetration. Poor little follow-up shot, but that is some pretty good penetration. I actually was able to get there. Pretty happy with that. So now for the results of which gun out of these three is the best gun. The results are in. I believe that the 7mm is the best gun and here's why. The 7mm can shoot, I believe, six different classes of animals, ranging from what the 243 can shoot all the way up to bison, which is pretty good range. Although it does only have one bullet, if you're a good hunter, not like me, you only need one bullet, am I right? So this is why the 7mm wins. Now I have to say, thank you so much for watching this entire video. You were probably pretty bored throughout this video, and this is my first video trying out this mic and everything. So there's going to be a lot of mistakes in here, so thank you so much for watching. If you can subscribe, that would be awesome. If you don't want to, you still should. Like, I'm going to force you. I'm going to knock on your window at like 3 a.m. and make you subscribe. So please do so. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day.